Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gamma QSA. In this video, we are going to replace the controller, the board controller. So the the board that controls the hashing boards that you have here. So in this case, you have two options. Option number one, you can just take off this, remove this fan from here, from the top or you can do the the other the other side so in this case because this unit is not working properly the hashing power i'll try to remove this otherwise you can do like i did in this one but you can just take this board you can re remove it or move it uh, towards this this side so i hope you can see it yeah and you can just take the board uh, towards this side so that is up to you or you can remove it all if you want to and that's it so that is how you are going to remove it so in this case this board is bad so i'm going to replace this board i'm going to put it here and let's see how it works and i'll check the the hashing boards in this case so in this case, now i'm going to show you i'm going to change the screen so that way you can see it so i hope you can understand so this is go like that and you remove it and it comes like that so that is very easy the only thing that you have to remove is the four screws remember if you do that and you are under warranty uh, you will lose the warranty except if you ask them uh, sometimes they will say no, no no problem just remove it all uh, you will not uh, lose the, the warranty so in this case we are going to work doing the other side and we will see Always, if you can use the this kind of gloves, you have the white option or the gray option. Those uh, gloves are anti-static, just, just in case, so that way you are not going to burn anything. So now you can just unplug the cables from this side or from the other side. It's the same thing. So here you have the boards and if it is kind of dirty it will be nice to clean them up a little bit as you can see here we have one of the blades are bended so we can try to fix that as well and other than that I don't see any other flaw so I have to see it later on more in detail so we are going to remove the other one so it looks fine here so now that we have done that we can unplug the rest There we go, fans out. We have to push here. Um, and that's it. It should, it should work just fine. Now we have to put this in the other miner and we will see if it works. Now we're going to grab the other one. Now we can push one of the connectors here, I mean the locking mechanism. We push forward, push the other thing backwards. And there you go, just make sure all the connectors, the lights, everything looks fine. And that's it, so now as you can see, we have uh, two set of cables so we can remove the other cables we are going to put it here so that way if there is something wrong with the other cables or something we can test everything new 
So we're going to put this back in this unit, just connect it to the power, just make sure that you don't forget the defense, and that's it. So now we're going to grab the other fan that you see here. Now we are going to grab the other fan that we, we have here, connect it as well, put the screws back, and we are back, back on business. Okay, that's it. So that is how you change the bore of one and minor. It doesn't matter what model, all of them are basically the same. Remember to click and subscribe and the little bell so every time I upload a video, YouTube will let you know. Thank you for everything. See you next time. Bye.